Hello guys and welcome back to part 4 of Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. Big one up today, lots of stuff happening, leaving the police station. So this is the final time you're going to see the hallways through this. Uh, yeah, and we're basically in the last episode, we got the last bit, last blue stone. Um, so we can go solve that stone puzzle. Um, so yeah, let's go do that. Just a big shout out to the people who have subscribed lately. Of, um, Got a couple more, so thanks for that. Um, yeah. No, yeah, Claire's not doing too good. Uh, we'll pick up this red herb. Again, this is the second time I've filmed this. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I might need to upgrade Capture Card eventually. Yeah, it was it wasn't it wasn't the best. So this is the second time recording this video, um, which is quite painful, really. I don't really want to have to go through and do these videos twice. I even did the last one twice because the audio stuffed up. So a little bit annoying. So we're just heading back to the box in this room. I'm gonna put all those um, stones in the inventory. Grab some weapons. And yeah, let's get out of this police station. We've got a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of cutscenes in this video. Um, oh yeah, and if you can notice, I organised my box in some sort of way. So yeah, we'll grab these stones. I've forgotten the other stone, so we'll get that back out. got two and possibly bring another one all right we're good to go so we're heading back to the chief's room to put the three stones in And uh, yeah, things are about to get juicy, story-wise anyway. There's a lot of backwards and forwards in, in these last couple of videos. This one, we get a bit of action in, so that's exciting. Claire! Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. All right, Sherry's all good. Sweet. Uh, definitely worth reading this document here as well. This is um, mail to the chief from William Burke. So definitely have a flick through it. There's some interesting stuff there. The chief was basically working for the chief scientist. Covering up a lot of crap, really. Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Righto, we're ditching Sherry for once. What's down here in the chief's creepy little puzzle maze?
Right, Chief just got impregnated in the mouth. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Let's go check that out. Man, this hall's like creepy. This is like really Resident Evil 1 hall. Just that hallway there. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen this little girl running around here somewhere. Sharon! In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my face apart is yet another product of the G virus. An ultimate bio weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. <laughs> I just. He died a pretty <laughs> brutal ass death. Oh, get here. Yeah, Chief's creepy collection. Oh, there's some rounds. Grab those. They will come in handy right now. Let's head down into this creepy ladder. I have no idea what this thing is. It's, uh, I don't know, creepy arm monster. Harder than the actual thing I just killed. Right, we'll push this button and uh, we'll go back and get Sherry because we can't really go any further here without her. That was a pretty cool scene, I did like that. Lots of brutality. The chief's dead. He just fought some ugly ass, disgusting thing. Uh, so yeah, let's just go get the girl and bring her down into the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, it seems this is the only way out. Someplace safe if we can just make it out of town. But don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Wait. <laughs> Cut off, Leon. We found a way to the sewer. We're not going to tell you. Just follow us. You'll, f you'll figure it out. <laughs> like, what was the point of the walkie talkie conversation? Close your eyes. Just no, oh, she's standing on him. She's standing on him. Sweet, let's head out of here. Up the ladder. And that's it, we are out of the police station. I told a fib in the last video too. I remember. Ooh, hang on. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, what I was gonna say was, yeah, I, I did say we don't get to play Sherry again. Unfortunately, I forgot we do. Uh, she looks like she's getting covered by sewage there. Oh, jeez. Sherry. But that's alright, we're just gonna fly through this. Hopefully I don't have to do it for long. Again, same deal as last time, no weapons. Uh, I don't even think I need to pick up anything, to be honest. But we're just gonna try and get through this bit as quick as we can. Oh yeah. There's some bow gun bolts up there, but no point getting them. Just can't reach them. Just luring a zombie away. There's some rounds up there. Can't reach them. And through this vent. Ah, oh, it's bad now. I don't know why I'm looking in there, nothing's going to help me. Run! Oh, 
flash at me. We do pick up something. But I think this is the end of Sherry's bit. Sounded disgusting. And we're back as Claire. Well, no point looking in the drain, we can't fit. Alrighty, blue herbs. These little magical things cure poison. Definitely good to have them around here because we're going to encounter some stuff that's going to poison us. Well, it doesn't if you avoid it. Why would I pick it up? But yeah, just for the purpose of the video, I'm probably going to show us later on what happens if we get poisoned so we can use one of those herbs right a save room scope it out I'm pretty sure there's some bullets or not first aid spray in here nothing else got some ink ribbon right, whack some stuff in the box Get rid of the uh, ink ribbon and the first aid spray. One of the herbs. Another uh, document to read. Uh, I think there's some bullets over here somewhere. door behind us. We have the lockpick. Leon has to unlock those with little small keys. Alright, this is familiar. Sherry was just here. So we know there's a zombie in here. Oh, that doesn't say anything. Soccer boot, he's head off. Just check around here for, for stuff, I'm pretty sure. There isn't anything. I can never always be sure. I always just sort of just randomly tapping buttons. <laughs> Give me items. Right, so yeah. This is where Sherry went. We can't get in. So we'll find another way. Don't need to go in there because we know there's nothing in there. to grab something as well. Got a nice little stash of bolts, nice little stash of grenade bullets. Um, we shall... I need to grab the... Um, the, the wheel. So I'm gonna need that valve wheel, so I'm definitely gonna grab that. I'm gonna ditch these. I might grab the flame rounds too. No. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just grab the valve handle. And we head down. Don't 
don't think we can go up this side as clear. No, we can't. But we'll grab this map on the wall. Sewer map. Take it. Uh, let's head down here. See a cool cutscene about what happened in this room. So, uh, definitely the best cutscene of the game. Pretty sure there's some ammo up here. These dead soldiers. Right, what do we got? Flame rounds. Should have bought those ones before. Spiders, righto. Uh, I mean, they are pretty easy to avoid, but I really sort of want to kill one. Well, I'm not trying the grenade rounds, they're pretty bloody. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, when they're doing those big shits, basically, <laughs> that'll poison you. The bites don't hurt you, but the poison that, yeah, weird webby ass poison does. Caution me, but see, not poison. Let's just ignore them. Nah, I'm gonna burn one. I'm certain it's one shot. If you can get him, pretty... gotcha. I'll be poisoned. Got him. Yeah. Oh, lucky okay, I've got the blue herb. Well, take a just take a look at this. I know I don't have what we need, but clearance identification device. Wolf and eagle are etched on the device. So one of those medals was the thing Sherry picked up. So we need to find the. This is where we get to see a cutscene, so enjoy this one. Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here.
Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. <gasps> Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot it! Eat this, you freak! I'm stopping it! What is this thing? Hurry! What, what is this thing? Fire! Fire! You son of a... So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. It's Sherry! You go that way. Sickest cutscene ever in the game. Sweet, we just learned a whole lot of plot. Uh, I think we're pretty nearly out of time. Like, uh, we could use this valve handle here, but... We're pretty much at half an hour, and that's what I'm trying to keep the videos around. So this seems like a really good time to end the video. So yeah, cheers for watching, guys, and uh, join us for the next one.